In the fourth video to the ultimate guide to LumaFusion 3.0 on your iPhone, we'll look at selecting multiple clips, copying and transferring effects, as well as adding a few final touches to get that cinematic look. Coming up now. Let's start off with a really helpful trick. There's a way to select multiple files and it's really simple. All you need to do here is in your timeline, right below your timeline, right here, this check button, if you click it, you can click on one, two, three, or more files. Now, when you click on multiple files, you'll have the option to take those files and alter them all together in one way or move them all together in one way. And if you look up here in your timeline, if you scrub all the way over, it'll highlight the entire timeline. And you can also choose different portions within the timeline. And to get out of it, simply click again the checkbox and you've deselected everything. Again, this is a fantastic tool to help you be more efficient in your editing. Now that we know we can select multiple clips, let's use this function to copy and paste effects onto clips. So if we look right here in this scene, in a previous video, we edited this scene in colors and effects. So let's go and tap on this clip. Let's click on the pencil button. And in here, we can see with this asterisk right here that we've made some changes. Now let's see what the difference was. Let's click on this eye right here. This is what it looked like before we made the changes. And if I click on it, this is what it looks like after. In my opinion, the changes look great. So if we click out of here, we can take the same changes that we made here and apply them to the rest of our timeline or any other clips that we deem necessary. How do we do this? Real simple. First, let's make sure we've selected the clip that we've already altered. Let's click on this clipboard right here and simply click copy. All we need to do now is choose the clips that we want to apply these changes to. What we'll do now is select our checkbox here. And I want to apply it to this image and I'm going to scrub all the way to the end of my timeline and apply these changes. How do we apply these changes? Again, click on the clipboard here. Now the changes are really only these right here. Now. We could select all of them. There are no audio options for these clips because they're muted. That's why it's grayed out. But if we wanted to apply all of these other attributes, we could. But for this example, we're only going to apply these color attributes. Next, let's just click paste and voila, all of these clips have been altered. So let's select our first clip here and see what it looks like before and after. Again, we have the eye icon here and I'll click on what it looked like before. So this is our clip. Notice the blues in the sky and the greens in the wave. Once I click the eye icon again, you'll see that the colors are more vibrant and rich. One, two, three, and there you go. And these changes have been made across the rest of the timeline, further enhancing these edits. If you want a video to really have that cinematic feel, then you're going to want to have the same aspect ratio you might see in the movies. And to do that, we can add cinematic matte bars. At the moment, we're in our regular 16 by nine aspect ratio, but with a little cropping, we can add that cinematic feel. There are different ways to do this, but I wanna show you my favorite way. All we need to do is scroll to our First clip, click on the pencil icon and we're going to go to frame and fit right here. And we're going to do a little cropping, specifically the top and the bottom. All we need to do is click on the pencil icon here and we could dial it in either 12 or 13%. I'll go with 13 and then click out of it. And we see that a bar has been created at the top. Let's do the same to the bottom click the pencil icon, dial in 13 and dial out. And there we go. We have a cinematic look to the first clip. Now, using what we just learned about copying and pasting, let's apply this to the entire timeline. 
Again, in order to do that, we need to make sure we have our clip selected. Click the clipboard icon and then click copy. Now let's go to our next clip, highlight that clip, and we want to hit the check box again so we can scrub all the way to the end to make sure everything is highlighted. Then click the clipboard once again and we want to paste only the attributes for frame and fit. Let's deselect this icon here and then click paste. Deselect all your clips here and let's go to the beginning of the timeline. And as we scroll through, we can see there are cinematic bars across the entire video. Let's watch and listen how this video plays out. Great, all of the options, functions, and edits LumaFusion has to offer that we've covered throughout these videos has produced what I think a pretty decent cinematic looking video. And now you can do the same. Now one of the last things you might want to do is add a title. You really have two choices here. You can click on this plus icon and here we have a main title and an overlay title. The difference is that a main title is only available at the very beginning of your video or the very end of your video. An overlay title is something on top of another video clip. So let's start with a main title video. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we have linked our first video clip with our audio clip. If we don't do that, this is what would happen. We would click here, main title, and then the main title would change the timing of the tracks. So let's click undo. And to get around this, if we click on our first clip and then we click the link button, our video and audio will stay linked together. Then click here again, main title, and notice we've got a four second main title. In order to edit that, click on that clip and hit the pencil icon. And now we're in our editing area. There are lots of options here that you can do. We can double click here in the middle and change the text. Let's hit all caps and type in fun in the sun. I think that'll do and click done. From here, there are other options we have. There are some interesting options, but the simplest is just to stay with our plane. We can change the opacity. We can change the font style. Let's go down and maybe choose something a little more interesting like Bradley Hand. We can change the size by scrolling back and forth. We'll put it right about here. And we have several options as you can see, line spacing, color, width, shadow, and so on. Once you've made the adjustments to the title that you want, simply click back, make further adjustments with the timing, Let's give this two seconds. Also, if you want, you can put in a transition. For example, a dip. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, looks good to me. Now, your other option is to choose an overlay title somewhere in the middle, the center of your video. Simply click on overlay title. And you notice that this title option has been placed on top of your existing video clips. Again, if you want to alter that overlay, 
simply click on it, hit the pencil icon, and you can go through the same process that we just saw with our main titles. So now you know the two title options that LumaFusion has to offer you. Once you're happy with all of your edits, the next thing to do is export. In order to do that, come down here and click on this export button. You'll have a few options. You can export as movie, audio only, LumaFusion project package, XML project package, and snapshot. For our purposes, we'll go into movie. It's the simplest and most used. Once you click on movie, you have a few more options. You can save it in your photos album. You can upload directly to YouTube or Vimeo. And you can also airdrop it if you want to send it directly to another device. In addition to that, you can click down here for more options. For example, let's say you'd like to save it to Dropbox. Again, if so, simply click and drag it over to your available options. Come back and now this option Dropbox is available to you. But for today, we're going to save it in our Photos album. Click on Photos and now we have the settings that are available to us. At the top, it's a little information to let us know what's going on. I've muted two tracks because for this video, I only wanted the music being played. Under basic settings, it's already automatically going to give you what LumaFusion believes to be the best settings. So this star icon right here is what LumaFusion is recommending. If we click on it, we have several other options. We can export in 4K, 3K, and so on, or even as low as 480p. The reason that 1080p is being recommended here is because I have a mix of 4K and 1080p videos. So it'll probably look best if exported in 1080p. So we'll stick with that. Frame rate is 30. You probably don't want to change that. With video quality, we have several other options. Quality, extreme, and ultra, or something smaller if you prefer. Audio quality, just a few options. 48 is your highest choice. I think I'll go with that one. Advanced settings, what video Kodak would you like to choose? The standard really is H.264, and I'll stick with that one. File format, MP4, but you have other choices such as QuickTime.mov. 360 VR, normal video. There are other options here, but I'm sticking with normal video. Down below, we have export information, which can really come in handy. Our export duration for this clip is about just over a minute. The space needed is an estimated 119 megabytes. The estimated file size is 119 as well. And keep in mind at the bottom, LumaFusion is letting you know what available space you have. This is really important if perhaps you're low on space and your estimated file size is large. Keep that in mind before you hit export. You can always make adjustments up here with resolution and video quality. Once you're satisfied, come right up here and click the export button and you've successfully exported your video. When it comes to filming and editing, learning never stops and neither should you. Check out this video here to keep the journey going.